Yeah, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. This is the Acquia Podcast. We are at DrupalCon Amsterdam. I have the great pleasure to be speaking with Luc Bézier. Luc is from France, but lives in the Philippines and does Drupal there. And uh, he and I were talking recently, and um, I thought it would be a great chance, since we we're both going to be here, I thought it would be a great chance to sit down and, and, and uh, find out about, especially Drupal in the Philippines. I, I, I'm really, really curious to know what's going on out there. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's always great to be in DrupalCon. Um, this is my third, I think, third or fourth Drupal camp in Europe, DrupalCon in Europe. So, yeah, always great to see the community and familiar faces. Oh, yeah. So, what's your first Drupal memory? Uh, I think uh, as work or as an event. How did you how did you discover Drupal? Um, I think like most of most of the developers, really, like there is a project coming up, and you have to choose a CMS. Um, so yeah, like maybe like seventy percent of the developers, like five years ago, I chose uh, Drupal regarding other PHP open source CMS um, because I had to do like a menu with several levels, and Drupal was the best tool to do it. Just because of a menu, I guess. <laughs> ah. And I just stick to it for uh, the past five years. Yeah. So what made you, t what made you stay? Um, community, maybe, like, book, like a lot of people. Um, and then yeah, just um, the code, really, like the tool, um, like stuff like Drush, stuff like, you know, like deployment or even, even features. Even if many of us don't like it, it's, you know, it's still pretty useful. Um, so yeah, yeah, just a lot of tools, the community, and a lot of work there. There is a lot of opportunities, actually, in, in Drupal. Drupal, come for multi-level menus, S stay for everything <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the best advertisement, but it worked for me. No, of course. It's, uh, yeah. It was something that you needed yeah, right, yeah, for yeah. your project, and, and here you are. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Drupal? Um, yeah, the events, the fact that you can just travel anywhere in the world and, and just find people who have the same interest as yours. Uh, I think that's pretty unique and especially like, yeah, you can just knock at the door of anyone and just go to a, any Drupal shop or agency or company or like even media company, corporate or whatever. As long as you, you know, they, they use Drupal and you know what you're talking about, then yeah, you can have a great conversation with pretty much anyone. Yeah, I've, I've shown up in a lot of cities and gone to a Drupal shop and said, is it okay if I use a desk for the day? And it's always, ah, yeah, yeah. you know, because open source people really believe in the community side mm -hmm. of stuff. Yeah, I think it's very true, yeah. So talk about being an open source software developer. So, yeah, I, I did like a lot of people, like both sides of, of the technology, working on like paid system and proprietary uh, softwares. And, yeah, there is really like a big difference between between both, and yeah, I can't imagine myself going back to any proprietary system where I have to pay. I can't share the code I'm doing with with anyone, or you know, I have to ask a company about like, is it the right tool to use or whatever. Yeah, I just love the way that everybody contribute to the same the same piece of code really, and you know, just try to make the best of it and for free. As an open source software developer. In the best of worlds, you never have to write a, a, a piece of sample code, right? Because you can say, hey, go look on GitHub. Mm -mm, yeah. Well, somebody did it before. So, as, yeah, there's no way, you know, to, to redo like, like logins or, or I don't know, like, uh, some, some kind of uh, display tool you want to use. Like, views is there. Um, there's context. There is display suite. There is features. There is, you know, a lot of tools that you can use, which are generic enough. To be used in like yeah ninety five percent of what you need really. So how is it in the proprietary world when you know you've got to solve a common problem, but uh, you don't have access to 
best practices and solutions sort of sort of laid out for you. How does that go? How does your day look like then? Oh, it's yeah. I don't know. If you are lucky enough, you have great people around you that you know you can ask help for. But um, yeah, you always rely on a company behind, and which is like kind of the giant, you know, like the owner, the real owner of your product. It's not yourself. It's the company behind. There is still like some companies who are very attached to proprietary uh, system for any reason. Um, and they are usually very like close minded as well, uh, which is totally different usually in open source. Like, yeah, it is. The only limit is um, like your brain, really, uh, what, what you can produce with the tool. So you told me before you were living in London. And you were sick of the weather. Yeah. <laughs> now you live in the Philippines. Yeah. Um, and I know that there's actually quite a lot of Drupal going on in the Philippines. How's the, how's the community doing? How much work is there? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting question because um, the Philippines is in Asia, but the situation is a bit different than other countries around. Um, like if you've seen the post from Dress about Japan, um, so Japan is having this problem with translation, uh, which there's no problem like this in the Philippines because everyone speaks English. Um, so it's a very interesting like ecosystem between between yeah, Filipino American companies, offshore companies, um, and and yeah, a few local development. But there is no really like not yet like any uh, good Drupal shop that I know that are like working directly with locals. Most of the time it's offshore work and, and working for Europe, for, um, for Middle East or for the US a lot, yeah. Um, do you know how many user group meetups there are out there? So yeah, it's, um, so the community in the Philippines is very divided into two cities mainly, which are Manila uh, and which is Cebu City where I live, uh, the second biggest city of the country. Um, and because of because of actually the geography in the Philippines, it's 7,100 something islands. Um, so it's really difficult for people from one island to meet the community in the other. Uh, so at the moment, it's mainly uh, the two big cities. Um, and I can't really say for Manila because I'm, I'm not going get there very often. But in Cebu, yeah, there is at least two meetups a month. Um, so they they have been uh, doing this monthly meetup every last Wednesday of every month since I was surprised since 2010. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. So they've been doing that like a, a lot, yeah, for for a very long time now. Um, so there is a, a good community base, yeah. Uh, and I stole one idea from London, um, which is uh, the Drupal Bear and Chat, which is a very good idea. So. You basically, it doesn't cost anything to make. Um, you just book a table, you write Drupal on it, you invite a, like a couple of people that you share on social network. And if you want to talk about Drupal, then yeah, we can talk about Drupal. If you don't want to talk about it, if you want to talk about the weather, your holidays or whatever, you can do that as well. So it's much more about um, like networking and uh, meeting each other. And it's yeah, not like formal at all. So I like the idea, and we are doing this since um, last year in Cebu. And now in November, you're going to have a Drupal camp. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm very proud of it because that's the first one uh, outside of Manila. So actually, people who can't exactly like travel uh, uh, to the island where Cebu is, um, they, yeah, we are making this um, in in this region, which is going to be the first one. So yeah, it's pretty. Very challenging, but yeah, very interesting, and there's there's quite a lot of uh, people who are interested. So, how many people are you expecting? Between seventy and one hundred, um, but it's really hard to say because it's the first one. So, uh, yeah, we are trying to get as many people as possible, and I want personally to involve students as well. Um, so, I'd like personally to thank uh, Acquia behind me and you for sponsoring the camp. Um, it's because of companies like you that we could actually offer an early bird price at around two, uh, two euros 50 or uh, five euros for professionals. So that's, um, that's pretty good, I think, price. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm really, really happy to, to help out. I'm really excited that, uh, that it's, Drupal is growing in so many places. And um, 
I was speaking with some people in the Philippines over the last few years, and I okay. ended up so I end up seeing a lot of Drupal Philippines activity in my Facebook. <laughs> so so it's great to see it growing. It's it's really really it's nice. In, it's interesting that you say Facebook because that's one of the point uh, interesting point of the Philippines is that they are like heavy social sharing people. They are ultra social, but they don't use Twitter. So oh. they use. Uh, Facebook, the Filipino group on Facebook is having like, more than 3,000 people. Um, so yeah, it, it, they use a lot of Facebook, but they are missing a lot because they don't use any other social tool. They don't use IRC, they don't use Twitter. Hmm. Um, and I think around Drupal, a lot is happening around Twitter. Twitter. Um, so there's a, there's a session that you can do at your Drupal camp. Here's how IRC works. Here's how to find the Drupal people yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Drupal community uh, does a lot on Twitter, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good way to like meet, like, or uh, just learn from the big names, you know, in in the in the communities. Really, by by Twitter, which is not like a personal network or anything. It's just, you know, you can have like a professional account on Twitter that you just share stuff about Drupal. Or... So, you're a professional Drupal developer. Yeah, tr I try to be. <laughs> today, today, Drupal eight went. Beta 1, so that dates us. What are you most excited about for Drupal 8? Uh, CMI, so the content management, uh, no, the configuration management uh, initiative. Um, so yeah, as, I think like, yeah, as I do more backend than frontend. I like both, but I do more backend. And yeah, features has been my best and worst enemy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, it's just a good relief to have like something more stable and which is definitely uh, good for a corporate website and you know enterprise level. So that's a feature you think will benefit you at your in your day-to-day -day work. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you contributed to Drupal 8? Uh, I did in the early days, yeah. I was lucky enough to be um to be going when I was back in London, um I was going to the sprint, so they have a monthly sprint um um, and yeah, there was uh, Alex Pot, which is right now uh, a core committer. He wasn't back in the days, um, and he was running, you know, this kind of um, just the board really, where you write what you need to work on. And um, there was a couple of e easy issues that I could just picked up during the day. Um, so I did help with that. I did yeah, so that was like a patch, um, and I think I did like one or two other. Yeah, but, yeah, unfortunately, I, I did a lot of data migration, and data migration is not something you can really contribute. Uh, it's just very specific for the project you're working on. Um, but yeah, I, I hope in the future, yeah, definitely gonna try to spend as much time as I can in in contributing. Well, thanks for doing you know what you did already. Well, it's normal, you know, like when you get when you get such a great tool for free, you know, like I think like a lot of people, you want to give back the way you can. Um, it can be documentation or organizing a, a camp, you know, it's just, yeah, you do what you can and that's, that's the main idea, isn't it? Oh, yes. So, what word best describes Drupal? Um, flexibility. And what's your favorite Drupal superpower? <laughs> I heard this question before on your previous podcast. Um, Drupal superpower... Um, I have some super hooks, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much for yeah, taking yeah, the time pleasure, to talk yeah. with me, and, and thanks for the patches, and thanks for um, helping out the community in the Philippines. That's really, really exciting. Well, thanks to you. Thanks again for sponsoring, and yeah, hopefully we get in touch later, and yeah, you can come anytime to the Philippines. I would love to. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to. Thanks again. <laughs> thank you. Ha, ha, ha.